Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover the prime factorization of 28. Remember, for the prime factorization of a number, we break the number down into its prime factors, the prime numbers that multiply to equal the original number. So we are decomposing a number, breaking a number down to only prime numbers. So looking at 28, we need to start breaking this down by thinking of two factors, two numbers that multiply to give us 28. Well, seven and four are factors of 28. Seven times four equals 28. So let's break 28 down into seven and four. Now keep in mind, depending on the number, there can be multiple different factors that we can use. For example, we could have started with two and 14 here for this one as well. And that would work. There may be different paths we can take for these, but in the end, we will get the same prime numbers. And that's what's important. So there can be multiple ways to do these. Now we need to continue breaking this down. So we have seven and four. We need to go from here until we only have prime numbers. Now seven is a prime number. The only factors are one and seven. So we are done here. We can't break seven down any further. Let's circle seven to show that we have a prime number. Four, on the other hand, is a composite number, so we can continue to break that down. We need to think of two factors. Well, two times two equals four. Two is a factor of four. So let's break this down into two and two. Now two is a prime number, so we are done here and here. And we're done with the prime factorization of 28. We cannot break anything else down any further. We have all prime numbers. So let's write this out as 28 equals, and then we can write our prime factors in order from least to greatest, and we are multiplying them. So we have two times two times seven. If we have the correct prime numbers, they will multiply to equal our original number. Two times two is four, times seven is 28, so we are correct here. So there you have it. There's the prime factorization of 28. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.